Damn. Damn. We're gonna need a rake for this. Let's go have some fun. Great work is mandatory. It's a must. If you want to continue to grow and you want to get to the goals that you have set forth, then you have to put out great work. It's got to be the best. What's up, guys? Dustin Jackson here with another episode of Shop Talk Tuesday. And man Scratch that. The boss is away and the mouse won't play. I'm Matthew Merrill and today I'm going to show you the life of a detail shop manager. Let's go. So when I get here in the morning, I get with the guys. We go over yesterday's number, today's estimate. We also go over the weekly goal for the week. And then we'll go look at the schedule, make sure the schedule is right, make sure everyone understands the schedule and what has to be done today. Dustin? You mind if I put Abel on boat crew? Okay. Y'all work on that black sea hunt over there? Teach up Abel. Go through the motions with him. He's ready to learn. He wants to learn. And then we'll go watch an educational video about detailing. The educational video is to teach the new guys the right ways to detail. And also just to keep the veterans here, keep their skills sharp. So as details roll in, I get together with the customer, go over the detail, Make sure everything's understood about what we're doing to it, what we're gonna do, when it's gonna be done. Have a good one. Then after that, I'll go inside, talk to Candace, make sure the schedule's right, make sure everything's checked in, and get after the day. Once I get done talking to Candace, I'll pull the vehicles around, let the detailers get started. I'll pull boats out from the previous day, get them ready for QC. Then I'll go to the back, pull up a new detail and put it in the bay for them so they can get started, get detailing on it. This process can be anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes, just depending on how the schedule's lined out and which boat we're gonna do first. So now I got the boats moved around and I've communicated with Candace about the schedule. Now it's time to make sure all the detailers know exactly what to do and what the time frame they have to do it in. What's going on, Ted? What's up, mate? What you running on this bad boy? A two. And okay. Going to a three. Make this bad boy shine now. Yes, sir. So this right here is Tab. She's a veteran. She's been here for multiple years, so I know she's got it. But let's go check on our new guy, Christian. What's going on, Christian? How you doing? All right. So make sure you got it with that Scotch pad and some acid. There you go, scrub a little bit hard. There you go, there you go. All right, now I'm gonna go check on Cody. He's our boat crew leader. How's it going, man? Got it going your way. Yes, sir, how you doing? Good, good. Now that we got the boat crew rocking and rolling, now it's time to check on the car crew. Now, usually we're doing cars, but today we're starting a boat, which is unusual, but I know Dustin here, our car crew manager, he can get it done. So what are you doing to it? We're wet, wet sanding it and polishing it back, bring out the oxidation. Okay, wet sand, polishing, you know, getting all that oxidation out, all those hard water spots, and you're gonna put a coat of seal on it? Oh yeah, two Okay, coats. okay, two coats. Awesome, looks good. Oh yeah. All right, so as you can see, it don't matter if it's a boat, a car, anything. Our crew can do it, no matter what crew it is. So let's go check on that rest of the car crew and check on the car that they're doing. Mimo and Abby are some of our best detailers. I don't have to check on them too much because they're always on top of it. All right, so now everyone's on task. They know what they gotta do. Now it's time for me to go QC a boat. And if you don't know what QC means, that stands for quality control. And that's what I do. That's my main job here at EZM. I make sure that everything that leaves this shop is absolutely perfect and the customer will love every single bit of it. So I'm at the Nautic Star and now it's time for me to QC it. So. We sanded this boat pretty far down because it has some serious oxidation in it. Then we polished it out, and then we put a coat of rejects on it. Two coats of rejects on it. So now I'm gonna get on the inside and go through everything with a fine tooth comb to make sure it's absolutely perfect. 
And then I'm gonna hop to the outside and make sure that the paint looks absolutely beautiful for the customer. Okay, well we sanded it down pretty far, get that oxidation out, polished it back up as you can see. You got two coats of polymer sealing on it, um, inside and out. You got 303 protected on your seats, metal's been polished, all that. All right. Other than that, enjoy. All right, thank you all right, very much. Sir. Thank you, have a good one. So, now that the customer's happy, it's time to wrap up the day. I'm going to run a few numbers and make sure the shop is on track and run estimates for tomorrow. After that, it's time to clean up and shut the shop down. And that's the day in the life of a detail shop manager. It's 4.30 around here, and you know what that means. You ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Everybody's times is absolutely right. me, man. Wait, oh, wait, which camera am I looking in? And I've communicated, could I, could I, could I, could I, could I, man? What am I supposed to say again? One, two, I had it. All I had to do was finish that sentence. I don't even know, I don't know how to wrap that up. <laughs>